Welcome everyone to our webinar today. Um, I'm happy that you all found the time to attend. And um, I'm going to uh, talk today about the water determination with the Carl Fischer titration and focusing on the variations of the matrix for samples that are difficult to handle. So let's start with a short outline of the next hour. I'm going to give you some general information about the hydronol reagents and the Carl-Fischer titration just to give you a little bit of background to understand what's coming after that. I will talk a little bit about uh, reagent composition and the reaction mechanism and then take a, a short look at the existing techniques, the volumetric Carl-Fischer technique and the coulometric Carl-Fischer technique and the uh, different variations. Um, after that, I'm going to focus on the samples that can be difficult to handle. That uh, first group, or the most common group of samples, is the samples that have difficulties to solubilize or to be dissolved in the Carl Fischer media. And they require solubilizing agents to be added to the working medium. The second most common group is uh, samples that undergo side reactions, especially with methanol. And um, I'm going to explain how to eliminate that. And the third most common group is the group of samples that influence the pH value in the Carl Fischer medium and need buffering by some buffering agents or substances. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about the Carl Fischer oven. That is a sample preparation technique and can also be used for these types of samples that have um, or give problems with, uh, within the titration cell. And um, as a last topic, I'm going to show you uh, the water standards that are available for uh, control and checking of the, the Carl Fischer techniques or the Carl Fischer systems and how to um, determine recovery rates and what they say about the titration and the results. So before we really starting with the technical content, I just want to mention that all our hydronol reagents and water standards are produced and quality controlled in, in Germany, in our site in the northern part near Hanover. This is the formerly uh, Riedel de Haan site, and um, we have a hydronol laboratory there that is called Hydronol Technical Service Lab, which is accredited according to ISO 17025. That is the ISO norm regarding the testing of these reagents and standards. And we are now also accredited since December last year according to ISO Guide 34. That is the ISO guide for um, CRM or certified reference material producers. So, um, oh, sorry. Just uh, two more slides about ourselves. We offer a lot of literature for the coefficient titration. So, if you have any kind of question um, regarding procedures and applications, we offer, for example, the Hydronol Multimedia Guide CD in various languages. With, uh, including a large application database. Then we have a manual that has more than 100 pages of detailed uh, procedures, also including uh, these sample groups that are difficult to handle and pose different problems. Then we also have application reports. Mm, by now, more than 800 overall. Um, you can find the list of these on our website at, on this link that you can see here, sigmaaldrich.com slash kf dash applications. Um, there are summaries of all these applications now, and then you can send an email to us or a request over the website to uh, receive the full PDF of the application. All of this is free for you, and um, I would really like to ask you to please take uh, advantage of us and take advantage of our um, experience. We have a, a team that you can see on this slide of uh, three or actually we are five people, uh, in, including all the labs, that um, have a lot of knowledge on the Carl Fischer titration over 35 years overall uh, by now. And um, we have a general email address, the hydronal at cl.com, where we can answer all types of questions. We are all working on this email box, so don't be shy. Just let us know all the questions that you have. Okay, so um, let's start with the um, the basics of the Carl Fischer titration. As I said, I'm going to talk a little bit about the existing methods and the reagents and their composition before starting with the difficult samples. The reagents for Carl Fischer titration are um, composed of the substances that you can see here on this slide. 
Um, this was re uh, invented in 1935 by Carl Fischer. He was a German petrochemist that was looking for a method for um, petrochemical samples to determine the water content. And so he thought about the Bunsen reaction and thought it must be possible somehow to create a reagent and a titration method to determine that water content.